Hey everyone, I'm Darcy from Darcizzle Offshore, and today I'm going to be showing you a knot that is super strong and easy to tie, the polymer knot. The polymer knot is one of my favorite knots because it's so easy, you can't really mess it up, it's super strong and very practical. You can tie on hooks, swivels, and a variety of different lures with polymer. Here's how to tie it. For demonstration purposes today, I am using a giant circle hook so you can clearly see what I'm doing, and I'm using 550 paracord. So here's how to do it. What you do first is you take your mono line and you double it over just like I have here. And make sure you, on your tag end side that you leave enough room to make sure this knot goes over the lure or the hook that you're going to be tying. So take your doubled, your doubled mono, in this case paracord, and go through the eye of the hook. Now once you pull it through the eye of the hook, the next thing you do is you take both pieces of your tag end, so the doubled line, and then what you're going to do is take the folded line and you're going to just do a simple overhand knot, just like so. Now once you do this overhand knot, the last thing you have to do here is you go over the lure or the hook that you're tying. So bring that over, just like so, and then this is the point where you're going to cinch it all up. Now before you do the final tightening of any knot, the most important step is to lubricate your knot. Water or spit. What I like to do is you spit. Let's get it nice and wet. The reason for this is first, it's going to help the mono slide easier and it's going to be easier for you to complete your knot. Second, mono, when sitting down on mono, that creates friction and friction creates heat. And the heat could damage your mono and weaken your knot. So always make sure you use lubrication on any knot and cinch it down nice and correctly. Don't forget to trim the tag end. The only real drawback for tying this knot is that it's not great for applications with big lures and big treble hooks. It becomes a pain in the butt trying to get that loop over that heavy tackle. So for applications like this, I would recommend tying the uni knot, and I made a video all about this that you can click on in this video and down in the description below. That's it. I have a ton of more videos on YouTube for you all to check out, so make sure you check out my channel. Don't forget about following me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those awesome social media pages. I even have merchandise down in the description below. All the links of everything you're gonna need is gonna be directly below this video. Drop a thumbs up if you liked it, and until my next video, follow your dream and keep on catching.